Digital Asset and Cryptocurrency Explained The seminal paper from 2008 by the legendary and yet anonymous Satoshi Nakamoto paved the way for what we call decentralized digital assets today. But what exactly is a decentralized digital asset? In a nutshell, a digital asset is something that serves as an asset, that is, it works as a store of value, but exists entirely in the digital sphere. It may or may not have a real-world asset backing it. It could be something like a Bitcoin, a decentralized digital currency that is not backed by a tangible asset like gold, etc. Or it could be a token which confers ownership of an underlying tangible or intangible asset. The underlying blockchain technology that has made cryptocurrencies possible has been instrumental in creating other new and emerging ideas such as non-fungible tokens, distributed autonomous organization and several avenues of decentralizing the traditional centralized finance. The blockchain technology implementation allows a series of interconnected pieces of information to be held securely by a public or private community of users, doing away with the need for centralized entities, like an exchange, for tracking and recording the transactions. Since the information storage is decentralized and multiple nodes hold the information, it enables tamper-proof record-keeping. Any change will have to be updated on all the nodes, which is significantly more challenging than updating records stored in a single centralized location. One question that might pop up in your head is why we even need something like a cryptocurrency in the first place. We already have the regular currency, what we call fiat currency, that is issued by our banks and governments which let us go about doing our financial transactions, don't we? The argument for cryptocurrency has often been centered around its decentralized nature. The reason we use fiat currency is because of our trust in the banking system. The trust that this currency will always be a legal tender and is a universally accepted mode of payment for any and all goods and services. This system works as long as the central banks do their job right. The proponents of digital currency state that it is free from governmental encroachment thus essentially keeping it insulated from external control or influence. Food for thought, isn't it? And just so you know, digital assets are definitely here to stay. They have now gained immense traction and have established a significant market size and opportunity. For instance, the global cryptocurrency market capitalization stands at over $2 trillion today. And this was just above $1 billion merely a decade ago. If you have been hearing about non-fungible tokens or NFTs, then you'll know that they have gained a market size of over $40 billion in 2021. The crypto bug has bitten everyone and how? Exchanges such as Binance, Coinbase, CoinSwitch, Kuba, etc. are seeing thousands of new accounts opened every day. These have now become the primary and popular way to acquire and trade cryptocurrencies. But with all said and done, what is the legal status of crypto assets? The evolution of the regulatory regimes in response to the growth in crypto asset markets has been slow. It remains mostly unregulated across the world, including India, which introduced a bill in 2019 to essentially ban their minting, holding and trading though the underlying technology is encouraged to be applied across uses. The most recent cases of jurisdictions proposing bans or banning cryptos have been Russia and China. The market seems ripe and set to see exponential growth in the next 5-10 to 10 years, both in terms of volumes of digital assets traded as well as innovation. Digital assets will become a lot more common. Blockchain technology will find more applications in other domains. Considering the fast-growing use and adoption of blockchain and other financial technologies, what would it take for someone to find career success in this area? While gaining an understanding of these technologies is key, the big opportunity lies in identifying real-world applications for these emerging technologies. Those with a keen understanding of finance combined with understanding how the technology around it is evolving 
will be best placed to exploit the opportunity it presents. Want more information? Visit us at www.herowired.com.